Hi, Stephen at Double Glazing Parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how I drill the holes in the frame to install a vent. In my previous video, I didn't actually show myself drilling the holes, so it's been requested, can you please show me how you go about drilling the holes? So first of all, what you want to do is find the center of your sash. Here we have six, two, four, so that's going to be 312. And then just mark, 312 on your frame and this is your center point get your vent this one being a 400 vent find the center of this vent and also mark on this vent the center so this is 400 so i'm going to mark 200 so marry up this line on your vent to the center line on your frame find a nice comfortable center center place to put it and what you want to do is mark where the vent holes start. Don't go beyond because this is where your screw hole will be. So mark where your vents end at that side and where your vents, the vents end at this side. You, you'll never go beyond those top points because you need your fixing screw into the frame. Also mark down the center hole, uh, the center line. And then this gives you two sections where you're going to drill. So once you've found where your vent's going to sit comfortably, just kind of mark at the side there, the center of the, the height of the, the vent. With your tape measure, just me measure down from a reference point and match that up with the opposite side. So here we have 14 mil. So we're going to come down seven mil. Oh, I'm going to come down 14 mil, sorry. So just a wee double check. Reference point. Reference point. Always worth a wee triple check. And then what you want to do is, drop, is mark a straight line across. One point to the other. This is where you're going to be drilling your holes. So the drill bit size you want to be using is a 10 or 12 mil. Just make sure it fits in between your vent. So this is a 12 mil bit. But we're going to start the holes off just with a, a smaller 5 or 6 mil drill bit. From the centre line that you drew, come in about... 10 mil each side and draw another line on the center line that you put across. Do this again from the other line that you did to the end of the vent. Just come over about 10 mil and put a little line on the center line that you drew. So this area is going to be the area that you're drilling. So now what you want you to start doing is just drilling some evenly spaced holes. You can just go straight in with the, the 12 mil if you prefer. But what I'll do is I'll do this side with the pilot holes and then I'll do this side with the big vent. So say about 10 to 15 mil spacings. Just go through one skin, do not go all the way through. So just go through the first skin. But just keep it within that little area that you marked. So now you can see through the holes there's another skin of PVC. So go through that one again. So go through that one. It's actually through two skins now. You do not want to go all the way through as explained in my previous video. So if you're lucky there will be no reinforcement in the top. You would know that because you, you would hit it. So then switch to your 12 mil. 
and then start drilling. So you gotta shoot through the first skin, through the second. And again, do not go all the way through, because it's not in the same level as from the outside to the inside. can, if you want, drag it along just to elongate it even more, but I find you don't really need to. Just give it a wee drill extra just to clear the swarf out. If you really want to drag it, you just put it in through the case, you just pull it across, like so. And then you could do that all the way along, but again, I find you don't need to. Now on this side, as mentioned, you can just go straight for it without the pilot hole. And just go through the two skins as you go along. I just feel the pilot hole gives you that extra wee bit of grip and it's easier to get your drill through. So now with that done, you can see straight through and then you just repeat this process in the inside but when you put your vent on the frame and the inside, put a little 5mm packer at the top as explained in my previous video, I'll put a link to that video. So you've marked everything up, you know your centre, find your centre line at the top of your vent again. And just screw your vent in. Just make sure everything's nice and level. Pop your end caps on. I'll put a link to these vents in the description also. And that's your vent installed on the outside. Just give a wee clean with a solvent just to get rid of the pencil lines. But as you can see, window is now vented, both sides, as I said, you can drag that drill along to make it even more elongated that hole, but I find you don't need it. <laughs> 